YouTube, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today, guys, we are gonna talk about the new Rescue Ace Devastar deck. The new Devastar allows you to gain access to the Hydrant quick and easy, but let's talk about the deck first and foremost because you might be wondering why am I running more than 40 cards and why is it that I am also running in my extra deck some unnecessary cards like these cards right here. Well, Typically, this is a combo deck. I am running a variant for the Rescue Ace that I did previously, but before it was really inconsistent having to search out a copy of your Hydrant to the field, which with the help of the current additional cards to Master Duel, which is the Devastar the Black Witch, it's easy enough to summon your Hydrant to the field and gain access to your combo. The typical thing that you need to take note about this Maxi and Drill isn't really like a formidable card against this deck. Uh, you can go with a one card combo with one discard with a Seeker, which you can just settle with a copy of the Turbulence and the one copy of Hydrant with, of course, your back rows with the Spell and Trap cards. Now, if you want to go with the Aurora Dawn combo like what I'm going to showcase you later along, you can go with one card combo minus two discards from your hand. A copy of Colossus on the field which prevents your opponent from adding more cards to their hand. You will also have a face-up bear on the floor and a face-up hydrant on the field gaining access to the full potential of your spell and trap cards in the back row. And with the effect of Seeker in the Graveyard that spins back a copy of your original Sinful Spoils. You can go with a 40 card deck here if you want. If you're not really pleased with the 43 cards, just remove the copy of this one and this one here. So the Olion and the copy of the Corridor can be removed and just settle with a copy of J Jet Synchron. We are not running any copies of the Monitor, the, the Engine, and the copy of the Fire Attacker. So that's the other card. So we're not really, really running those cards, but just settled on a copy of Impulse and a copy of Airlifter. Three Imperms. You can go with three Effect Mailers and one Imperm if you like, but I just settled with a copy of Imperms because they are practically useful than the Effect Mailer. For the extra deck, if you want to run a fourth card deck, just remove these cards right here. You'll have extra slots that you can actually use or basically like six cards without the Aurora Dawn. So it's really up to you. Uh, but I think that's basically it. All the cards that you basically need are practically here. The combo line is still the same. Two copies of the Lion one with the Corridor. Uh, the typical monsters that you'll have on the board, the Colossus or the copy of Baron the Floor. The Burrow Lord Savage is a midway summon if you want to settle with one negate or with a higher attack that's still perfectly fine the wind pegasus having to pop one spell and trap card in your opponent's side of the field and the ability of the axle synchron to dump a copy of jet synchron from your deck to the graveyard and then use the effect of jet synchron to spell summon itself to the field by discarding one card now this will gain you access to the cupid pitch on the field and then use its effects so that you can go into a copy of baron de floor one copy of the promethean princess and a copy of amblo whale uh, with uh, Appaloosa and a copy of Underworld Goddess. Now, before, I did not have a copy of Underworld Goddess but because I was just settling with a copy of Anima. But after a few games, I think Underworld Goddess is one of those best cards that you can just use your opponent's monster as a fodder for your own. Let's go towards the replays. I got four replays that I want to showcase to you guys with this deck, of course. And I'll see you guys on the replays. All right, guys, so here we are with the replays and we're going up against Invoke here, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, we got one Effect Vader, one Hydrant, one Maxi, one Ash, and a copy of our Sinful Spoil. So not really the, like, the best of hand here, but let's see what we're going up against. Uh, yes, this is the Invoke. So he's going to summon his Invoker here, going to the Salaman Great Al Mirage, and then going for a Secure Gardener, so that he can just use the Invocation on his hand. So yeah, I was... Uh, gonna use the effect of Maxi here for the invocation because he could just stop uh, midway to the summon but sadly he has the crosses designator which you know negates my Maxi it doesn't really matter because we have an Ash Blossom going second and of course an effect waiter if ever he he uses the effect so that's all perfectly fine so our guy will spin back a copy of his invocation and then bounces back a copy of, uh, of Alistair from the Banished Pal. He then will use the effect of Maximus here, Banished Al Mirage, gaining access or sending cards to the graveyard. I'll try to use the effect Baylor to trigger the effect of Mechaba um, so that I will have an Ash that I can use if ever he tries to send a card from the extra deck that is kind of useful. So which I was perfectly right he just sent a copy of Apollon which he wants to get a copy of Schism which yeah I really had a gut feeling about this so it is a, a, the Invoke Shadal deck 
but yeah, he got a copy of the floor release for an extra negate during my turn. Which I only have like two cards. Plus the impulse, I think that's perfectly fine. We go for the hydrant, use the effect of the hydrant. He will use the effect of the Mikaba here. He should have gone with the negate. But needless to say, he went for the Mikaba, sending a copy of floor release out of all the cards. Uh, luckily, our impulse will trigger also. Our hydrant might be banished, but it's still okay. It's still perfectly fine because our turbulence will allow us to gain access to the spell and trap cards. Now, since our hydrant was banished uh, by the time turbulence was on the field, we can pop one card, popping the Mikaba, and then gaining access to our spell and trap cards here. So at this point, during the draw phase, we will use the effect of alert, gaining access to the impulse once more. And then we can use the rescue if ever we'll have a rescue ace monster in the graveyard. Sadly, we don't have the hydrant. It's still perfectly fine. Uh, so our guy is going to use the effect of Maximus again. We'll use the effect of Contain, negate the effect. And then use the effect of Impulse to spell summon our hydrant to the field. He will then use the effect of Regeki here, which is not really a big problem because we got a copy of Rescue. And also, the, the cards that we sent to the graveyard earlier, the copy of our Promethean Princess and a copy of Wind Pegasus was kind of good though. I know for a fact that this level 7 monster has a graveyard effect, so if your cards is going to be destroyed by battle or by card effect, while this card is in the graveyard, you can banish this card and target one card in your opponent's control, one card, and then spin it back to the deck. So that is basically what we did with the Maximus here. And with the rescue, spell summon a copy of Turbulence to the field. So that's it, basically. And then I, I think our guy just cooked here. So really good card. Um, sadly, we couldn't like showcase the um, Devastar, but let's go to the next replay. All right, so here we are with our next replay, and we're going up against Punks here. So uh, this is one of a troubling or annoying um, game that I had with the Punks. But we got one maxi, two Ash Blossoms, one Turbulence, and a copy of Nibiru here. So that's pretty good if he summons more than five times. But I have some minor misplays that I was just testing out. So uh, our guy's gonna go for Z. I mean, we'll try to use Ash Blossom here. So it, it was negated. I don't know why I did that. Oh yeah, I was trying to trigger um, a, cro a cross out or a call by the grave. So it did not have any. Our guy's gonna use the effect of Foxy Tune here. Dumps will summon a copy of Deer Note. We got another copy of Maxi, which was I don't know why we have that one, but it's I can't complain. So you gotta, he's gonna go for a copy of Jam Dragon Drive here, and then will summon a copy of a level three to the field, which I think he stopped there eventually. Now I was testing the effect of Nibiru if I could summon the Nibiru for an additional body that I can go into for a Link Summon. But I think I was very like optimistic that that would be summoned. You need to tribute the monsters. Because yeah, he summons Psychic and Punisher. One of the most annoying cards because you can't remove it as long as your opponent has a low life points. So we don't really like, have the best of draws out of the maxi. But uh, I think the one that was a really good card as well. So our guy is going to dump a copy of maxi here. Luckily we have an, a copy of Ash Blossom. So there you go. I think that's perfectly fine. At least we don't have like anything else. So summon the Black Witch to the field, gaining access to a card. I think we got a copy of the original Sinful Spoils. Go for battle just to lower our life points so that we can remove the copy of Second Hand Punisher. We'll try to use the effect of Second Second Hand Punisher. We'll trigger the effect or yeah, trigger the effect of Impulse and summon the Turbulence to the field. So that's what we really want to want him to do. Pop that, and then we have the lowest life points. So I really thought the effect of Psychic and Punisher was as long as he has low life points. It doesn't matter if he has like uh, the same life points as me, but I just read it uh, afterwards. So uh, when, you're, when your life points is less than or equal, so yeah, I should have read more. Uh, we're summoning our Turbulence of the Field, use the effect. Our guy is going to use the effect of Snow Rabbit here, popping my card. But uh, as long as we got the, the spell trap card, it was okay. And he has only one card on hand. So that's one thing that I really want. To happen. Normal summon our corridor. I was uh, double taking if I want to sacrifice the Nemesis corridor, but it was perfectly fine because we got a copy of the Hydrant of the Field. And then we got a copy of Airlifter and so on. It was perfectly um, executed. So with that, we go the effect of Rescue. And since we have a Hydrant on the Field, spell summon our ZM into the field and go with a copy of Promethean Princess. Promethean will spell summon one monster from our graveyard, and that is a fire. And our guys is gonna use the effect of Sarenir for while for some apparent reason. 
But regardless, use the effect of HQ, spin back four, draw one card, and then use the effect of, or use these materials for an uh, Amblo Whale. So if he summons another monster uh, during his turn, we can just use the effect of the Promethean Princess. But he can also, or just attack my Amblo Whale. He'll use the effect of Punisher here. Luckily, I just spin back a copy of Impulse if he does that. And then spill some copy of Turbulence back on the field again. So you banish my Amblo Whale, doesn't really matter. I'm going for battle, popping my Turbulence, is, I don't really mind. We are still, uh, we still have a lot of um, advantage here. So we go for Black Witch from the, from our draw, getting a copy of our Sinful Spoils. Use the effect of HQ, or no, Normal Summon the Hydrant, I mean. And then going for a Lifter, and then we are good for an OTK. So there we go, Turbulence to the field. And still we have a rescue to use it against him. So spin back, draw one. The draw one wasn't uh, necessary, but yeah, it was it was plus one or none at all. So during the battle phase, popping our card, lowering our, lowering our life points, popping with popping the card with an extinguish, and use the effect of rescue, and we have game. So that's basically it. Really good um, game here. And that is against the punks. So that's game number two. Let's go for game number three. All right. So here we are with game number three. I think I won't showcase the last game of it uh, or against the Shiras. It's pretty boring now, and I want to showcase to you guys the combo that I that I want to with this deck. But yeah. So uh, game three, uh, we have one Effect Vader, one Impulse, one Airlifter, one Turbulence, and a copy of Rescue here. So that's really good. So we're going up against Black Wings, yeah. So we go for airlifter, going into a copy of uh, the HQ, and going for an impulse to the field, tributing it for a copy of Magi Mascarina. Now I could just go on with a copy of Bark and Board Blocker here, and then summon the Turbulence so that I can go with the Aurordon. Uh But yeah, I just prefer with this one. You can go with a variety of choice, uh, going for Aurordon or just settle with the IP Mascarina if you wish. But yeah, still a really good board, by the way. It's gonna negate my IP Mascarina. I don't, re it doesn't really matter because we still have a, a ton of protection from the back row. Our guy's gonna get a copy of Radiant, tributing the Turbulence in the field. We still have the Rescue, Spell Summon back the Turbulence to the field, which is another body that he actually gave us, so that's still okay. And our guy got a Floodgate. So the Synchro Zone is, a, is another Floodgate that was recently limited, so yeah. We summon the bat out of the field. He's gonna try to attack my Mascarina. Luckily, I still have like my back row to pop the card. So at this point, I could have just gone into a copy of Nightmare Unicorn, spin back one card, but it's a 50-50 chance that I may not hit the Synchro Zone. So I might as well just gonna like um, sacrifice the Radiant for uh, the Black Witch since we already drew it. So uh, better <laughs> better than that than nothing, right? So uh, if ever he uses another card or he, I might trigger an effect, then at least we can still survive. So go for Black Witch, gaining ac access to the original Sinful Spoils. Use the effect, sacrifice the IB Mascarina, spell summon a copy of Jet Synchron, and then he will trigger the effect. So yeah, it was technically uh, the Ruma Cannon. So the trigger with the J Jet Synchron plus the level 7 or the level 9 was his standpoint there. <laughs> So uh, yeah, annoying synchro zone, which of course in his in his draw he break, and then what we just need to do is just basically have one empty spot, just one empty spot there, and then go for a copy of bear on the floor. Now I, I can just flip the black witch face up and then use the effect of just synchron to go into the the borrowed savage. So that is game number three, and I think we can just go for or directly to the combo here. All right, so let's go to the combo. All right, guys. So here we are with the uh, with AI, and we'll just showcase the combo. So like I said earlier, the wanted is a one card combo that you can go with or settling with a copy of Turbulence plus the Hydrant, and then your um, four back rows with the spell trap cards. But you can also use the effect of the Seeker on your first turn as a one card combo into a Rorodon, into a copy of Baron Floor, and a copy of Colossus, but with two discards, which is not half bad. But yeah, let's go with a combo here, like I promised. So go for a Seeker here. We will go with the Aurorodon here, get a copy of the Black Witch, 
Use the effect of the Black Witch, dumping our first card. You, there we go. Summoning the Black Witch to the field. Uh, use the effect. Get a copy of the or original Sinful Spoils. Use the effect. Send that to the graveyard. Spell summon our Hydrant to the field. Hydrant will gain access to the copy of Airlifter. Now there's a reason for this. Airlifter will be summoned to the field. Gaining access to the alert. So go for the alert. Gaining access to the turbulence from our deck since we have a face-up Hydrant on the field. Then at this point we can go Barricade Board Blocker. Summon to the field. We don't need to use the effect of Barricade Board Blocker. But if you want the field spell you can just use the effect. It will be added to your hand by the end of the turn. But yeah, we don't want that at the moment. We're just going to showcase the combo. There we go. And we still have the rescue uh, from or in our uh, deck, which we can just get with a copy of this one here, the Turbulence. And we can just get a copy of our Hydrant during our opponent's turn. So that's really good. So there we go. We have two machines on the field. We can go with a copy of Aurora Dawn. So your back row is already settled. Use the effect of Aurora Dawn here. Special summon the tokens. That's it. Use the effect of the of Aurora Dawn. Tribute one and then one token. Special summon the Mega Phantom Beast Orion. Orion will go into a copy of Axel Synchron. Use the effect of Orion. Summon the token. Use the effect of Axel Synchron. Dumping a copy of Jet Synchron to the grave. And lowering its level by one. We will use these materials to summon the Wind Pegasus to the field. Now take note, Wind Pegasus, uh, during the turn you can pop one spell and trap cards. So that is an additional good effect. Use the effect of Jet Synchron here. Uh, our last discard, we can just use it. Discard our Ash. Now technically that's not really like the most optimal way. But yeah, just for the sake of this combo, we'll do it. And then with the Jet Synchron and the token, we can summon a copy of Cupid Pitch. Now Cupid Pitch will decrease its level. And then we can summon the Bear on the floor. And uh, Pegasus will have a graveyard effect if our cards can be destroyed by battle or by card effect. So that's really good as well. Uh, so there we go. Add one card on hand. Go for Nemesis Corridor. Corridor to the field, spinning back a copy of either one of these cards, but Jet Synchron is going to be spinned back to the, to the deck. And with that, sacrifice or tribute the Nemesis Corridor for a copy of Colossus. So Colossus will be protected if it's going to be destroyed, which is pretty good. And you still have a copy of your Seeker here to draw one more card, spinning back a copy of original Sinful Spoils. And that's it. We still have two cards available for us, but let's just say that is our board. And our turn, toggle on, use the effect of rescue here. Special summon our um, Hydrant to have the full effect for our spell and trap cards. Or you can go with a copy of our Turbulence that you can have an effect if your cards is going to be, uh, is going to leave the field. But that's perfectly fine. We are good to go. So those are your gameplays and that is your deck list for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed this kind of content. Like and subscribe for more contents like this. We'll tackle some more decks that we can use during the event this coming 13th. But anyways, that is it for today. Keep safe, good luck, and goodbye, everybody.